Then we'll do from Rama coming up now. All which we did. You have to find in your book, Sanskrit book. Some people just take notes and have pieces all about. One note in their car, one note home, one note in their job, and they can't find nothing. Okay, from Rama. Now say after me, Rama ha, Rama o, Rama ha, Ramam, Rama o, Raman, Ramena, Rama bhiam. Ramehi, Ramaya, Ramabhyam, Ramepya, Ramat, Ramabhyam, Ramepya, Ramasya, Ramayoho, Ramanam, Rame, Ramayoho, Rameshu, He Rama, He Rama, He Ramaha. So this is uh, masculine noun ending in a, uh. then feminine noun ending in a, uh, not there. Then neuter noun ending in a, uh. phalam, phale, phalani, phalam, phale, phalani, phalena, phalabhyam, phalaihi, phalaya, phalabhyam, phalabhyaha, phalat, phalabhyam, phalabhyaha. Phalasya, Phalayoho, Phalanam, Phale, Phalayoho, Phaleshu, He Phala, He Phale, He Phalani. Then now, feminine noun now, ending in a, no. Feminine nouns ending in a, yes. Mala. Mala. Mali. Malaha. Malam. Mali. Malaha. Malaya. Malabhyam. Malabhihi. Malaye. Malabhyam. Malabhyaha. Malayaha. Malabhyam, Malabhyaha, Malayaha, Malayoho, Malanam. That Malayoho, eh? La, la, that's short, la. Then Malayam, Malayoho, Malasu. He Malay, He Malay, He Malaha. Now after that was Hari. Masculine ending in E. Then we have to do feminine E. Then neuter in E. <laughs> Which I give Hari or Kapi? Hari. 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 Hari, Harin, Harina, Haribhyam, Haribhihi, Haraye, Haribhyam, Haribhyaha, Haroho, O Harehe, Harehe, Haribhyam, Haribhyaha, Harehe, Hariyoho, Haryoho, eh? Har Yoho Hari Nam Harau Hariyoho Not Harayoho Hariyoho Harishu Hey Hari Hey Hari Hey Haraya Does I reach? No Yes Sandhi, yes. I just remember before you tell me. 
but I want to first correct this homework. Now what I gave for homework? Oh, I gave to so hand up this thing. Right, you pass it that way. Pass it to the, towards the ILA. Not window. Hey, hey. quickly. May I have time? Pass it this way. Right. So Sanskrit is a very natural language, just like making orange juice. If you have water here, and sugar here, and orange there, when you look at all three of them, you cannot call it orange juice, isn't it? How you call it orange juice? This is water, this is sugar, and this is orange. You can't call it orange juice. But you take the same three things now, three things and you mix them. No, you cannot call it water and sugar and orange. No, you have to call it orange juice. Look. The same three things mixed call something else. Separate, they call something else. Well, Sanskrit words are like that, you know. When you have one word here and one word there, you have two separate words. But when they come in a sentence together, they join and sometimes they form a next word. Some other word, and there are rules for joining. So today's topic is Sandhi. Now I take down some notes. Sandhi means joining. Joining, the simple meaning. Sandhi. No, next point. In Sanskrit, there are rules. In Sanskrit, there are rules for joining words. There are rules for joining words. And full stop. Continue to have the same thing. Quite often, when the last letter, or last letter means last vowel, last vowel of a preceding word, of a preceding word, meets the next letter of a following word. Our first letter of a following word, you can write. Meets the first letter of a following word. Changes take place between those two meeting letters. Changes take place between those two meeting letters. Right. Uh, continue the same note. The rules which govern those changes the rules which govern those changes It's called a Sandhi rules. The 
there is a, a simple note. Now, uh, when I give examples, it all that note will become clear and easy. Now, forgetting note, now look on the board here. First Sunday. What is it? A plus A is A. Now I'll show you like this. Now look here and you will write just now. Which is the vowel here? The last vowel. Which is the first vowel there? So now this is a, there's an a uh here and there's an a uh here. You see? If you don't see that, something wrong here. Eh? There's an a uh here ending there and there's an a uh there. So what do the rule says? Right? That's the Sunday rule. So then what you will get? Now that is how you get long Sanskrit words and you don't and you get confused. Now see how these two words are small. Now this a uh, met that a uh, and now you get Rama Gatchat. Rama came. But you will not see it written like this in your book. You will see it written like that. No. This also when you see in your book, that is not clear until you know Sanskrit. You will have to know that this is actually, this, you will have to work backwards. But how you will know, you have to get a lot of practice with that only. Like any language, you have to get a lot of practice. Now, this is first rule. Now, see this. Number two, a plus a. What do you get? A, like that, you know? Because already this is a, and now you have a. What do you get? Still a. Now number three. Now suppose you have a plus a. What do you get? Still, ah. Now number four. Ah plus ah. Now what do you think you'll get? Now see, all combinations, all of them. Still? That means to say, you, you'll find words now ending with this here, and, and still you will only get that one ah in the middle there. Any combination of these, and you'll only still have only one ah. Huh? Yes. Now you write it on. I, I just put some examples here. Not the answer for that you all will, should be able to write it down.
think some more for you. A few? Few you will not see, two you will see sometimes. That means eyes, two eyes dropped. Or eyes dropped, long eye. Eh? No, we don't stretch. Uh, it's just one hour only. Finish? Now, this is with regard to a plus a. Now, see, we have also the next two vowels will be e and u, right? So the same applies for you. Just take a note there. Same applies for e and u. What do you mean? Same applies. If you join e plus e. Too short E, you will get? And any combination of like this. But only up till U. After that, all trouble starts. A, E, U. Also, yeah. Re also. Like this. Uh -huh. E, U, and Re. It works for Re also. Right? Up till there means, please pay attention to this. Eh? That means that letter joining with itself, not joining with the next letter. Like here. Not a. Uh, plus U. You can't have anything like that. That different rule now altogether. That letter joining with its own long and short. Its own long and short. So it means once you catch this one, you know for E, U, and R. So it only works for those four letters. That, for example, 
Some people still look confused. If you join here, you'll get? Yes. Like that, right? And so if you do it for any one of them there, and any backward forward mixture of that same one, right? Yeah. Okay. That is first Sunday rule for joining this simple vowels. This you should be able to do right there. Given this example. Now this is for, what is ending with? What is beginning with? Too small a, right? Now what you will get here? You will get a long e. So then the word will turn out to be? This is the word. Now that is what you will see in books. You will not see this. It means Ichha of Hari, desire of Hari, God's desire, whatever He desires. So, this is what you will see. Other example, that is for E. U. Ending in? Huh? Ooh. Beginning with? This is Guru. Ukti. Then what you get? Guru Ukti. Guru Ukti. Guru Tihi. That means words of the Guru. And, and it's not so easy, eh? I don't think that's so easy. Like adding two plus two and all. Right. Now, suppose you see this word, which we, this is the word you will see, you will not see that. Right? How would you know it is not? See, look here. This combination, E plus E, will still give the same E, isn't it? And this combination, E plus E, will still give this same combination. So when you see this, because this is what you will see, how would you know which one it is? Now there are three. One, two, three. When you see this, three possibilities are there. Four, actually. How would you know which is the correct order of the four? You 
the next possibility also is there, huh? You remember, you will not see those four possibilities. You will only see this in your in, in any literature. That's why I told you just now, you have to know so many vocabulary and words so that when you see this, you know there is no word in Sanskrit like Icha. <laughs> there is this word which you got just now. This one is there. Then, if this is being used, then this word, because this is dual, Harihi, Hari, Harayaha, you just got. This is dual. So then this word has to be also in dual. So you can have one in dual and the other one in singular. So then you know this one is also gone. That one, so like that, when you learn your words and vocabulary and all that thing properly, you will know that this thing is actually this one, yes. And like that, by usage and by learning all words and vocabulary, you will know, well, this is split into these words. Otherwise, when you see something like this, four possibilities are there. So you have to do by deduction and elimination and all that kind of thing. Okay, same thing here. So four possibilities, isn't it? Four possibilities are there. So they know something like ukti. They know ukti, ukti. But that you will learn like that, huh? So now see, son, this even though two plus two just now you're looking very easy. <laughs> one plus one is equal to two. One plus two is equal to three. If you're looking easy like that. But it's not so, it's not so easy. This, this is called as Sandhi rules. No. Next one we should jump to then. One before that. Rama plus. Now, this one, see here. Ending in what? No, but the next one now is not a. Uh. Eh? The next one is? E. What do you think you will get? Eh? So, this is your next rule now. A plus is equal to A. Now you gain orange juice. <laughs> Just now sugar plus sugar is sugar only, isn't it? <laughs> sugar plus sugar is sugar only. Water plus water is water only.
So what do you get here? See that? There's an intermediate intermediary step there. Let us go over that a little bit. Now see here, in the beginning of this course, I had given you this sort of exercise to do, right? So now just now, first, first thing we need to read, R plus R, R plus R, R plus R, R plus R, and all that, right? But here now, when you have to get this thing clear in your mind, the rule says, R plus R, E is equal to? A, right? So it means to say, this, this will go, and that will go. Both will go away because I, and, and you get something new there. Sugar and water gone, and orange juice gone, and my orange gone, and you get orange juice. A whole new thing. So this, both will go. And here you get? A, because that's what the rule says, A plus E is equal to A. So now, again you have Ra, and you have Mahalan there, you have A. And now you have Like that, right? You have na halan, the halan, ra halan plus a, and you get back this here. So now when all this thing joins back together, then you get only this a goes with that more. Like that. Ramendra. If this exercise which I had given you, that's why I had made you write that joining. So all this Sandhi will become clear. Okay. So simply put, this A just goes into that more. The A that was ending here and the E that was beginning there, there both of them vanish and you get a. Okay. No next one. What if you have now what you get? <laughs> you get that? Oh, you didn't know.
Yeah, quite often you will see. So when you join them, in Bhagavatam, Bhagavatam you will see. You see how you will know, because you keep hearing all the time. Watch, look here. Say, Shuko Vacha. Shuko Vacha. There is Shuka Uvacha. Uvacha, what do you know? Right? Uva, somebody see what has happened here. The A uh from there and the U uh from there has become O. Oh. So you will see this in Bhagavatam. Shuko Vacha. Yeah, uh huh. So this is how you know this. Because you are familiar with that word. If you are not familiar with this word, or either one of those words, and you see this, you will not know either two words, and which two words it is and all. Shuka said. And over there, what you will get? What you will get here? Sarvo Panishad. Here? Katho Upanishad. You can't say Katho Upanishad. Eh? You have to say Katho Upanishad. Yes. Katho Upanishad. Keno Upanishad. So sometimes you hear people say Kena Upanishad. Or Keno Upanishad, you have to say. Kena Upanishad, like here. Kena Upanishad, or you have to say Keno Upanishad. So you understand what is the, the U has gone into the O. The U has dissolved into the O. Like sugar has dissolved into orange juice. Sorry, if you have to write If you write this. No, you will have to write it like this. The reason is, this word, and if you look here, this is ending in, in what letter? Uh, you, I told you before, I told this class before, that you can't have a word like this which is undeclined. You will have to have shukaha uvacha, right? If you have shukaha uvacha, now there's a difference in the rule appearing you know. Because this is a visarga, and a visarga preceded by a, uh, followed by u, and next rule follows now. We are get there yet, but there's a complex rule now. 
So if you have this, something else will obtain here. This is called as a compound, compounded word. So Shukovacha, if you are splitting for an exercise in class, you just write Shukovacha. Because so we know that these two words is what went into making this word. So you'll have to keep it like this. And if you put that, then the next rule will follow. I'm giving simple examples just for the point, but this is a good question. You have to write like this. Here, you will have to write You have to write K in Upanishad. You can't have this like this. Because this will be undeclined words. In Sanskrit, unless the words are indeclinable, you can't just have the word ex sitting there without being declined. But there are many words that are indeclinable. Those only can stay like that. Once it is there in Compounded word like that, it is fine. All right, so, shukovacha. This is the word, shukovacha. That's how you also, basic thing, you know. What you get? Just now I told you the rule. A plus U is equal to O. Here, A plus U plus Mahalan. That's how you get? Om. Om, sweet Om. All right. So these are all these simple Sandhi rules. But I don't give you any more Sandhi rules for today. Give you some homework in Sandhi rules. Oh, no. Let me give you some sentences. Because we did hurry and we didn't get any sentences. So now write down sentences. We'll, we'll do them for homework. I'll keep it here.
here in IND means indeclinable. These words are indeclinable, not these. Eh? The Hati, the right. Okay, so um, now I'll see you after the break. Uh, today we will have only puja after the break. In the class, I can't have. I have some work to do. Um, so after break, we'll have come back for. Puja.